Hi there, my name is Donnie Dennison. I'm joined today with my colleague, Dan Stone. Dan and I are both elder law attorneys at Mandel Mountain Barrett. And today's video, we're gonna be talking about powers of attorney, specifically when a power of attorney, an agent under power of attorney weaponizes the document um, to get their way and to prevent access to well-meaning well -meaning family members uh, of a nursing home resident. Um, before we jump in, Dan, can you explain what a power of attorney is? Yeah, sure. A power of attorney is a legal document that allows someone, what we call an agent, to make financial or legal decisions on behalf of someone else. Uh, some typical provisions we'll see um, are authorizations to allow an agent to make transactions, sell real estate, and in certain cases, make medical decisions. A lot of these problems arise because care facilities will rely upon the agent under power of attorney as the principal point of contact. Mm -hmm and will blindly just accept the word of, a, of an agent rather than reading the terms of the power of attorney. Right, and um, Dan, you and I were just discussing, we've never encountered a situation where the power of attorney, once we read it, says you know the agent can prevent access to or communication with such and such people or person. Um, and so oftentimes the nursing home will accept at face value you know, what the power of attorney, the agent is saying, um, to prevent access, uh, but they really shouldn't because the document does not confer that authority on the agent. Um, and so why don't you just talk briefly about what sort of um, recourse a person in that situation might have to deal with it. There's really two options. The first is an informal approach in which we correspond directly with the facility and advise them that absent explicit authority for the agent to bar contact with certain family members, um, a facility simply does not have the right to prevent a loved one from visiting their family. Um, a more formal adversarial, adversarial approach is to file a guardianship action and seek to revoke the power of attorney. This is the more contentious and expensive approach. Um, but like a POA, a guardian has the ability to make legal and financial decisions on behalf of someone else. The main difference is that a guardianship requires the filing of a complaint, and it's particularly contentious when a agent under power of attorney is seeking to contest the application. Which why wouldn't they, right? They're, they're being accused of you know, doing something that doesn't look great on the surface, um, and they're potentially going to be replaced by somebody else, the guardian, if, if appointed. Um, so, you know, we encounter these issues fairly frequently, and um, no two clients are alike, no two um, situations are alike. And so we highly recommend that if you um, or a loved one or a, fr a friend um, are encountering these issues, to speak with an elder law attorney um, to sort of navigate your options on, on how to best proceed. 